The picture of Our Lady of Sophania is still there, and several other times I saw it dripping oil. It happened frequently. One time, I was probably tired and not able to concentrate. I prayed, and that is when Myrna came towards me and with very human tenderness consoled me. Maybe I was tired physically. I always loved her simplicity. In the first conversation we had together, I asked her what miracle did she do. Even before the first conversation we had, Nicola, Mirna's husband, told me that the first miracle was already done to me and I myself did not believe anything. Sister, what is your impression about the phenomenon? Very simply, at first I did not believe. Then I prayed with fervor and asked myself, is this a phenomenon? Why does this icon give oil? Why are there miracles? And where are they? We would like to see them. We wish that the church would make a decision in this case and give an official statement. I cannot express anything because if the church does not officially make an announcement, we cannot. This is separate from my own sympathy for the phenomenon. I also pray about it. The messages from Our Lady of Sophania are very beautiful messages of peace and unity. For example, the Blessed Mother's wish to enter into the home of everyone and her wish that all would pray together and also that the prayers are going on constantly. It is a sign of unity that the Mother of God is present and I have great devotion to the Mother of God. I love her so much, therefore, I don't think that she would let me fall into a deception. Myrna continuously says, I pray for unity. Children of the Virgin are divided. It has been good to me, sir, so that we may become united once again. Pray for us, Virgin. Pray. The Virgin is asking us to become united so that she may gather us together, so that her son may have mercy upon us and we reach the world of unity, so that we may become united once again. Pray for us, Virgin, pray. With your oil, you have visited so many homes and introduced faith into them. In countries where there are homes, where no people would pray, so that we may become united. Pray for us, Virgin, pray. Every day, we remain far apart from God. His desire will increase when feasts are united. The Savior will be pleased so that we may become united once again. Pray for us, Virgin, pray. Thank <laughs> you. 
What is the meaning of saying we live so long in the truth of the state of survival? The truth was divided at times when people were overcome with evil. And mind us, O Savior, with your life, so that in it we may unite our church. In your name we have become soon. We celebrate your feast twice. So that we may all be united, the Virgin came down visiting us. She could no more sleep on her couch. She came down to provide us with inspiration. With the appearance of the Virgin in Damascus, our rejoice is so great. And so the story goes on. The light is getting brighter and brighter. More and more are coming to know that Christ wants only one church on earth, only one kingdom, one body of Christ. The crowds who come to pray with her are getting bigger and bigger. But the light has only just begun to shine. With your help, with Mirna's prayers, with the Virgin Mary's help, we will make a beacon so bright the whole world will see its light. With your help, we will make so much noise the whole world will be forced to listen. We need to spread this message to every corner of the world. We must organize towards unity. Unity first in the home. Unity in the community. Unity in the parish, in the country, and then in the world. Everyone wants peace. Peace will come when we unify our hearts. When we get rid of our prejudices of race, of nationality, of religion. Light a candle. A candle of faith, of truth. Light a candle and join your candle with us. Together, we will light the world. We will pray until we have unity. Until we have one faith. One religion, one mind, one love, one body of Christ, and one kingdom of heaven on earth. When they do, it will be like a snowball rolling down a mountain. It will gather up all the strays until all the world is Christ's kingdom. Then, and only then, will we have peace on earth.